What is up, YouTubians? Kuda Malloy here coming at you with another exciting video. Yes, we are going to tackle paracord. We're going to tackle S beaners. We're going to tackle stakes in this video. These are all questions that were posted in the comment section down there below by viewers just like you. So if you have a comment or a question, post it in the comment section. Who knows? I might dedicate a video to you and tackle your comment, your question, your post, and all that good stuff. Anyways, let's get into it. If you're into camping, hiking, or backpacking, whether you're a beginner level, intermediate, or advanced, there's always a little bit of something on this channel for almost everyone, including Italians talking with their hands like I'm doing right now. Just kidding. Anyways, basically, I am going to take a few trips in the near future in the next couple of weeks, basically dedicated to camping, hiking, and backpacking. And we're going to explore these topics like what's the best camping chair that's lightweight, packable, foldable, something that won't give you sphincter clinch syndrome, Yes, you know what I'm talking about because you're in fear of your chair folding or collapsing on you. I found one that's 320 pounds, best bang for the buck I could possibly find. Basically, that's what this channel is dedicated to is finding products for the viewers out there that will give them high quality, high durability, better stitching, better materials, thicker materials to for endurance and long lasting years of use at the lowest possible prices. That's what this channel is dedicated to. Also throwing in some of my experience and decades of doing all of these kinds of videos. So anyways, let's get into it. Basically, one viewer had asked about stakes. What are the best stakes to secure a tent or a hammock or a bivy or even a tarp to the ground? So this particular one, this V-Best company is what I could find that was the best one possible. Each one is pretty lightweight. They are 14.2 grams each, which is basically nothing, basically a half an ounce. This is size medium. They do come in different sizes. The way it works is the smaller size is like maybe an inch or two shorter than these. And the smaller size is designed for like rocky terrain, hard packed dirt. You're really going to be hammering or pounding the stakes into the dirt. So you want a shorter stake. That way it doesn't bend as much or might not bend at all. Then there's a longer version, right? There's a long, which is basically like an inch or two longer. And then basically the way that works, like the large version, I should say, the way that works is it's giving you more surface area to grab on to more softer types of terrain, like sand. Most people think of beach sand, right? We'll also think of it in terms of like riverbeds, right? Where the, where the sandy soil may be a little bit unforgiving at times. Also like a, like a riverfront or somewhere where you're just going to be in softer soil. Maybe it rains a lot, that kind of thing where you need a bigger footprint. These are the medium size, which is basically like an all around. It kind of encompasses both worlds. Let me show you real quick what they look like. They, they actually fold up pretty nice or they compact pretty nice into one shape. But as you can see, they're a V-shaped type design with reinforcement right there in the center of the V. The way these work is you're supposed to point, you're supposed to go into the ground at like a 45 degree angle, sometimes even a 15 or 20 degree angle towards whatever it is that you're trying to stake down. And the reason for that is you, is both of, both sides of the stake create like this plow effect, which basically has more surface area. And also the, the design is so that you don't bend the stake as easily. There is a little hole right here to attach cordage to, which brings me to my second item on the list, which is cordage. Okay, so here I've got another stake set up with the hole right there. Basically, your one this is 1.8 millimeter cordage would go through the stake in that little tiny hole right there so that you could pull the stake back out of the ground when it was time to do that. And you always want to pull in the direction that you put it into the ground. So if you put it in this way, you want to pull it out the same exact angle. That'll, that'll help with that. So that's a good reason why I like, <clears throat> sorry, the 1.8 millimeter cordage. Also, when you get your stake in the ground, now you need to tie it back to whatever it is you wanted to stake down, your tarp, your tent, your shelter, bivy, whatever it was. So basically, that's why I like the 1.8 millimeter because it's thin, it's lightweight, it doesn't add anything like extra in terms of like being bulky or whatever to your setup. But also this is the reflective cordage. Yes, there is a link in the description below as always. And I update those links as much as possible. These company names change. They, they're they often made by one or two manufacturers and then they're distributed by several different companies. And those companies change their names a lot. 
Who knows? That'll be a whole nother video. But basically, I will always update the links in the description that down there below. But in terms of cordage for 1.8 millimeter, this is this has a tensile strength of 400 pounds. So it'll definitely hold down whatever it is you're trying to hold down as much as possible. Anyways, that's one use of this, right? To secure your shelter, your tarp, your bivy, you get the idea. Then what I like is I also like using it on like a prussic loop or a prussic knot, which I've kind of like kind of faked right here, like halfway done. But what this is for is I've got bigger paracord here, which is the 550. This is the seven strand paracord, just so you can see that real quick. What I'll do then is I'll take a lighter, I'll cut off the ends as much as I can, take a lighter, melt the end of this so that it doesn't unravel again. Anyway, that's, that's later. But what I will do is I will create this prussic loop and then use an S beaner, which is the third topic of this video, but I will use an S beaner like this to basically clip on to a tarp, right? Or a bivy or a poncho or whatever the case may be. And then I'll, I'll throw that over the paracord. And the reason for that is that the paracord will hold up the weight, the center weight of the tarp or the bivy or the poncho or whatever it is. And then the, the S clip or the S beaner is basically designed for quick release. So what I can do is I can leave this prussic loop on the main line as like a placeholder. And then when I go next time to go out hammock camping or if I have just a tent system and I want to put the tarp over it, I can just have the S beaner clipped on to the prussic loop and then pulling on this at an angle will keep it in place so that way it stays put. I do like to use the number fours for tarps. These are rated at, I believe it's 75 pounds, right? Yeah, 75 pounds, number four, because that'll give you 150 pounds of total pulling strength. You never know when it's gonna get windy or breezy or if you're caught in the snow or the rain or whatever. It's just nice to use a heavier, S beaner for that purpose. So that's why I use that for. Okay, moving forward, let's get into the 550 paracord again. I like using this for ridge lines, right? To put tarps over. You can also use this as an accessory line. Like let's say you have a number of trees around you or things that you can tie this off to. And basically you want to hang up like I'll give you I'll give you an example, like a kitchen cookware type item, pots and pans and utensils and that kind of stuff. You could also clip your boots to these, right? Most most boots, hiking shoes, that kind of thing. They use there's usually a loop in the back of the shoe that you could clip in here to dry them out. Maybe after a long hike, your feet got soaked when you crossed over the river. You get the idea. So paracord around a tree. The 550 stuff is nice for that because the 550 is a little more thicker, more durable. As you can see, the 1.8 is pretty thin. It's probably like a 16th or a 32nd of an inch thick, whereas the 550 paracord is maybe more like a quarter of an inch. So wrapping this around a big pine tree shouldn't hurt it as much or shouldn't cause as much structural integrity damage to it as say using the 1.8 millimeter. So if you're in a situation where you can use the 1.8 millimeter, it's a lightweight situation, go ahead and use that. But otherwise I just rely on the 550, it's stronger, more durable, you get the idea. Okay, another good example would be, this would be the number, sorry, this would be the number three clip. What I would use this for, this is 25 pounds strength rating. What I would use this for would be that same kind of prussic loot or Prussic, lock, prussic loop or prussic knot system, what I would do is maybe do something like this and then I would hang my another piece of paracord down to let's say like an, like an under quilt, right? Or something like there's a hammock underneath your hammock, basically like a, like a gear mini hammock where you could put your backpack, your pet could stay in there. Like if you have a dog or whatever that you might want off the ground and also closer to your body, maybe they would feel more comfortable and safe. You could always put your pet inside that under hammock. Yes, if you watch and subscribe to this channel, I will be doing a future video on that under hammock. I think that's the technical term for it. So basically the way it works is you have your ridge line. You have a tarp or shelter that's going over that. Then you have your main hammock that's coming down, right? And then underneath the hammock, you have this like gear hammock that you can store your your accessories in, right? Your boots, your shoes to keep them off the ground, keep the creepy crawlies out. You can put a pet in there. You can put your backpack in there, which is kind of nice. Just get that off the ground. You can also hang your hammock from one of these like bigger S beaners. Like maybe I would maybe go for like a number four, Right, the 75 pound one to hang your backpack if it's empty or if it's like uh, partially full or whatever the case may be, just to keep it up off the ground. Anyways, you get the idea. The endless possibilities 
are out there. So that's a good reason to get these. I do tend to buy them in bulk, right? This is like a three pack. I will put a link down in the description there down below. Comes with the number four, that's a 75 pound rating, number three, 25 pound rating, and then a number two, sorry, which is a 10 pound rating. So definitely a lots of options that are out there. Also, if you do end up buying Paracord and follow the link in the description there down below, as of right now, this is, what is this, March 2021, these do come with these little cool like quick clips. So basically you would run your paracord through and then cinch it down. And basically if you want to cinch something down, you just don't have to tie a whole bunch of knots. You can basically just use this. This has like teeth inside of it that will grip onto, as you can see right there, little teeth that will grab onto the paracord and basically keep it in place. So there you go. Whole separate video I'm going to have to do on that. Thanks for the homework. <laughs> Anyways, now is a good time to hit that subscribe button down there below. As mentioned, all of these products will be in the description section down below or links to them. And I constantly update those links. So if I find better versions of this, better prices, higher quality, you get the idea. Those will all be updated in the description. Also, in the description, there's a link to my Facebook page. That is Cooter Malloy Product Reviews. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe on that Facebook page if you like what you're seeing. Make sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel if you like what you're seeing. I'm Cooter Malloy, asking you all to hit that notification bell as well and the like button, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video. And Lastly, if you if you are already liked and subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's honest and sincere thanks that I'm giving to you because it's viewers like you who subscribe to this channel that make this all possible. So thank you so much for that. All right, I will catch you guys on the next adventure.